She's considered to be one of the most beautiful women in the world, yet she stood on the red carpet before a hundred cameras clicking her from every angle and happily recounted how she struggled to lose 16 pounds in three weeks by barely eating to get into a dress. It is an image and an admission that has gone viral around the world. Kim Kardashian, actor, entrepreneur, attended the Met Gala in New York as Marilyn Monroe. Kim Kardashian shimmered in this sheer dress that Monroe wore to sing Happy Birthday, Mr. President, to John F. Kennedy way back in 1962. We're asking tonight, where does one draw the line? Rujuta Devakar, India's leading nutritionist, uh, author, fitness expert who emphasizes being natural, staying natural, staying strong and fit and true to yourself joins us. Rujuta Devakar, your reaction to the way this star openly talks about the steps that she went to, that she had to endure to fit into this dress, altering her body to fit into this dress. Well, I really think that, um, you know, it's not just celebrities or stars, but all of us in some way or the other obsess about fitting into a dress. And the more challenging it is, um, you know, or the more unrealistic it is, the bigger sense of achievement we seem to have about actually fitting in. On the one hand, as women, we want to be liberated, we want to be seen, we want to be heard, we want to be taken seriously. On the other hand, we seem to be having this regressive mentality somewhere in our heads where we want to really diminish ourselves into the smallest possible size at any cost, whether it is whether it will cost us our health, our sleep, our peace, and just fit in. And I really think that we need to break out of that stereotype big time. Here we are, we should be seen, we should be heard, or you know, so like, uh, we shouldn't obsess about it beyond the point. You know, um, there has been some backlash to this. It took some time eventually, but in the end, at the start, it seemed like there was a danger of praising these, you know, her efforts. She says she, she, she treated it like it was a role, because if you do that, it kind of endorses the means to this end. A lot of people tell me that, uh, you know, like after COVID now, a lot of people are meeting their friends or families almost after two years. And invariably, the first sentence, at least, you know, one of the first three sentences seems to be you've lost a lot of weight or you've gained a lot of weight. And mm -hmm. if, you know, instead of really, how are you? What are you doing? How did you cope up with this whole uh, pandemic? You know, this is amongst the top three, first three sentences that we are exchanging. And if we don't change that within, we can't really possibly expect a quicker backlash or more sensitivity or people to kind of self-censor before they say things. Mm. All right, let's bring in uh, Seema Anand here. She's a holistic lifestyle coach, a storyteller, uh, an author, a mythologist. Uh, uh, Seema Anand, your reaction, but you know, I want to... Um, ask you to come in on the fact that we have this uh, entrepreneur actor who was trying to fit into a dress that was worn by a woman Marilyn Monroe six decades ago in the 60s so women uh, our proportions uh, our sizes were all very different like you know the renaissance period painting show women very differently so is this troubling on many levels I mean is it troubling to you at all I think it's hugely troubling, but I think as always, so I want to start by saying that I really think at the end of all this that her, Kim Kardashian's was a publicity stunt. Mm -hmm. I really think that, I mean, who remembers the walk down the red carpet normally from the Met Gala? It's like a couple of days, it's finished, it's gone. Look at how much time we've spent on her. So, you know, these are people who are in the social media constantly. She knows exactly what kind of reaction something is going to have. Um, she has a huge team behind her. So I really think this was for publicity. Mm -hmm. But to come back to your question, you're absolutely right. And, um, you know, the problem is that we have, we come from a culture from ancient times. I mean, if you read the, um, the ideas of Shringhar of the body from the Kama Sutra, they're so holistic. You know, the idea that a woman is supposed to be real. She's supposed to have roles. She's supposed to have curves. Um, the ultimate sexiness is 
exercise, you know, somebody who's all disheveled from exercising, the sexiest thing that you could do, women were taught how to play with the ball, uh, which is part of the Mohini Attam, which is now only part of the dance Mohini Attam. But, you know, it's what made you so sexy that in our ancient literature, it's already sort of followed by a really steamy scene. So I just think that these are the role models. Unfortunately, people mm. like Kim Kardashian are our role models. We have nothing else at the moment. I've always said that the stories that we tell define our identity. We have lost all the, um, all the older stories, the ancient stories, which would have been our role models. And uh, mm. yeah, this is all we've got to look up to. So what do you do? I mean, how can you expect younger people, for instance, or even the people of my age group, to follow anything else. And this is the standard of beauty that's being set out for us. Absolutely. But also, um, you know, it's ironic that a few years ago, when the Kardashians came on the scene, uh, there was a certain segment that was rejoicing in a sense because it was a different body type. It was a break away from, you know, the wave uh, body type, the type A's, the body A type bodies, metamorph that you would see on the ramp, for example. Yet here we are. Back to square one. But that also, unfortunately, is, you know, the moment you get out there in the public and you get endorsements to do, which pay you huge amounts of money, mm. they're looking for a particular shape. And like I said, that's, that's the image that's being put out for us. How do we actually get around to breaking away from it if you don't give people an alternative? And yeah, I just think, unfortunately, she's what we've got. Thank you so much, uh, Simanand, for joining us on We the People. But how do we break away from this? Let's go across to someone who I think I can say actually has or has managed to. This is Nilakshi Singh, uh, an associate professor at the School of Fashion, a social media influencer. But uh, she's a, a, a plus size model. Nilakshi Singh, thank you. A pleasure to have you uh, on the show. Um, your reactions to this entire chapter in the context of how, uh, you know, you're on Instagram, you're in your own, you're comfortable in your own size, and uh, you actually have followers for that reason. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for having me here. First off, I think for me, just looking, I was very, very excited when I first saw the image, and I was like, oh my God, Kim Kardashian is actually recreating something from Marlon Monroe because if I were to look up to somebody that would be the person and it was not because of a body type but because of the personality. Now having said that my first reaction was to post oh my god she's actually doing it uh, you know wearing a gown which was hand sewed and you know all of the history came down to it. I was like okay this is happening in real life but what I realized and became so problematic is the conditioning that we are in. She very openly states how fast she wanted to lose weight. Now, having been in a, at a place where, you know, I teach and meet young uh, girls every single day. Mm. And they can like, if Kardashian can do it, so can I. And then I'm like, why are you starving? But there's this yeah. like, ma'am, it's okay. We go to binge. We are probably, and exactly the same line that probably Kim used as well, that I'm going to have a car party right after the, you know, she's going to get a donut after three weeks. Exactly. Yeah. So which is where the problem really begins. Now, this is something with the celebrity culture that's been wrong over the years. It's the conditioning that needs to be broken and molded time and again. The body types have been changed over the decades. And it's honestly like I'm 30 and I feel like over three decades, I have seen body types come in and go like no one else. I have literally been subjected to eating disorder. So I understand where this feeling is coming from. I would be like, if I can just keep my, uh, you know, food down for a couple of seconds and I, I could possibly eat whatever and actually fit under the dress. So I get that mindset. But it is so, so problematic for younger girls, which is why I plead all the parents to come in somewhere in the, you know, picture and talk to them about it. That Absolutely. This is definitely not the way to go. Why can't we have better role models of celebrities and stars who talk about how disciplined they are, about what they eat around the year? And, uh, you, you know, how they work out, for example. But let's go across with Tapasya Mundra. She's a nutritionist, very well known, a health coach, Ayurvedic practitioner. She's a, a she, okay, we don't have a Tapasya yet. Um, 
Anam C is a content creator and founder of uh, uh, Verified. Anam, come in over here. Uh, you uh, are also very open uh, about being comfortable in your own body, in your own shape, in, in the way you look. Yet at the same time, you've also come out openly to talk about how you've uh, uh, done fillers. Take us, uh, take us through how you, uh, you know, manage that walking that fine line of being a modern woman being everything that you say you are yet also giving that a shot <laughs> pardon the pun um you know for me i think the idea comes with being open with my audience i feel like uh, beauty is vanity and i don't think that there's anything particularly wrong with wanting to be it because the social conditioning is so deep rooted that it's going to take many generations to really undo that but while we're trying to unlearn and while we're trying to all kind of embrace ourselves for the way we are for the way we look um and all you know all body types are beautiful and we're trying to you know say that to our audience and it's something i'm actively trying to show my audience as well i feel like what we need to do is actively have more open conversations like you mentioned i got fillers i uh, tried lip fillers at some point last year and under eye fillers because those were the areas that i was you know conscious about and i think that so long as where i'm being able to tell my audience that hey i didn't overnight you know fix my under eyes with some product that i'm trying to market to them as a content creator or so long mm. as i'm not telling them that oh this lipstick has transformed you know my lips for the way we are we've all seen and heard about the kylie jenner kylie cosmetics lip kit controversy i feel like as long as we're being open about it and having that genuinely honest conversation mm. we're headed in the right direction mm. uh, in the case of this kim kardashian met gala uh, fiasco if we should call it that i feel like one of the many things that irked me about this was circling back and you know kind of just going back in time a little bit when the kardashians had um, a reunion with andy cohen when their reality show rounded up they were asked about their bodies and i think that was a great opportunity for them to just kind of say it like mm. chloe kardashian said it that oh i got my nose fixed and i you know did a couple of procedures it would have been such a nice opportunity for kim to also say hey i also got stuff done and uh, just kind of break that wall you know what i mean which would have been really fantastic mm. on the met gala when she said i lost 16 pounds in 3 weeks i think we're all assuming it wasn't just the diet and it wasn't just the exercise so let's open the beauty secrets out um because when as an onlooker you hear somebody saying they lost 16 pounds in 3 weeks it's like oh my god i have to be able to achieve what kim kardashian's mm. doing because you're glamorizing it in a certain yeah. you know, way so the next time i never going to do this but let's say i go ahead and say oh i really wanted to wear that outfit and you know i lost so many so many pounds in so many so many days or weeks it will instantly passively remind the person oh my god she did what kim kardashian did she's so cool because she's fitting into the kim kardashian you know kind of mm. category bucket whatever you call it so i think my problem lies in glamorizing it while i think it's a problem by itself 100% and there's a lot of social conditioning uh, that we need to try and unlearn which yeah. will take its own course yeah. i do think that having open conversations about things so which i enjoy Full disclosure. Full That's disclosure all I'm saying. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ambika Anand, uh, well-known TV host, needs no introduction. Journalist, well-known face. Uh, uh, Ambika, but you know, I want you to come in here. And Ambika has worked on that hugely popular show where she spent a lot of time with brides on their special day. Uh, Ambika, when we listen to all of these, uh, all our panelists, I somehow come away with the feeling that you know we've all been there. Like when we saw this, we heard this, we said, "Ha." you know this is terrible i mean the the wanting to be politically correct we say it's hard but in the end we've all kind of been there somewhere somehow whether it was on your wedding day you're like i'm going to lose this weight i want to look good um is this you know are we just looking into the mirror do we see a little bit of kim in all of us if we look in the mirror so firstly i want to say that um, kim uh, yeah i was having this conversation with a girlfriend and i'm like you know kim kardashian lost 7 kilos in 21 days she's like i want to know what she did cuz i want to lose 7 kilos for july um so anyway the point is you're absolutely right it's a story for everybody but you everybody must know that kim kardashian lost those 7 kilos which a lot of uh, jockeys when they are out for a race or mma fighters do under supervision a lot of actors do that that's their job they need to be a certain weight so it's done 
not by going on an extremely crash diet it's done under the supervision of of trainers of dietitians of people who are checking your vitals at every point uh, i mean kim kardashian knows she cannot like you know have uh, have saggy skin because she lost 7 kilos in 21 days do we all see that yes i mean we met so many brides so many people my own girlfriends i think weight and uh, how we look is 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 just a conversation and everybody tries the best and i think uh, so did kim and but, uh, so that's my but view, when you like you know on your show it was hugely popular it went on like as as we say in tv uh, lingo it had many seasons because you just had yes. these brides you spent so much time with them in the days and the weeks leading up to their wedding what do you say to that bride who like just as we saw with kim kardashian when she wore that gold chain mail versace dress right that's extreme corset or that wet look uh, mugla dress where she wore in 2019 where she said she was unable to sit unable to eat not able to use the toilet all evening i mean what do you what did you say to brides on their wedding days should they be wearing those dresses should they be able to kick their feet up at the end of the night dance like crazy with their girlfriends or do they or do they just say i want to wear that dress The point is, uh, luckily for all of us, Indian clothing is so comfortable. Whether it's a lehenga, silver kameez, and a sari, so most brides were comfortable. Uh, if they wanted something done, it was just to feel more confident. Uh, but uh, what Kim Kardashian? I mean, that's what they do. That's what stars do. She's worth uh, millions. uh her sisters are worth millions okay. it's a whole business it is what they do and uh, it's made them extremely successful all right successful. let's okay so, let's get in tapasya mundra we do have her finally a uh, uh, new uh, very well known nutritionist much in demand health coach ayurvedic practitioner also works with can- cancer nutrition uh, uh, specialist over there uh, tapasya mundra can this I, even yeah. be done in a healthy manner right yes. because ambika is pointing out and rightly so these are stars there are athletes there are you know there celebrities they have a whole team of experts at their beck and call can you lose this kind of weight in this kind of time It in a healthy way depends on what your body composition is like sarah you know what if a person is really very huge and heavy and obese this thing happens because they lose their water weight their muscle mass their fat everything together in one go so these things are seen with people who have a major uh, fat structure in their body but i don't think kim was that heavy i think she was 132 to 130 pounds which is uh, not that much of a weight but uh, she did it to achieve that certain look and she said she went on a high protein diet and a lot of workout and without sugar so if she is following that for a smaller amount of time to achieve a certain thing under obviously various supervision is good for her but is not setting a very good example for the people who follow such things all right okay uh, kiran sethi uh, joins us now dr kiran uh, a well known uh, dermatologist and uh, uh, in whose uh, clinic we know that aesthetic uh, contouring takes place which includes uh, uh, you know fillers botox etc uh, kiran i want to ask you first i know that you're a mother uh, you're a very successful professional but you have a young daughter so how do you balance these two with what you do professionally and what kind of messaging and what kind of uh, you know uh, what what you're teaching your daughter uh, at home i what i try and teach my daughter now is that she is beautiful as she is Um, she is wonderful as she is. If she's 12 and she wants like to do a lip filler, then my answer to her will be no. It will say, "I'm sorry, sweetheart. There's no indication for you to go off and pump up your lips right now." Because at the end of the day, you know, I I actually really liked what my parents did with me, which they said, you know, "Why do you want to wear a lip lipstick? Why do you want to wear eyeliner? Let's first focus on internally building up who you are." All right, so I think that's the message we should be sending out to our young girls. But I want to uh, then maybe end with Rujitha. We're c- uh, completely out of time, Rujitha. Let me ask you also professionally, right? You are uh, a very well-known nutritionist. You're a nutritionist to the stars, whether it's Karina Kapoor and many others. But you have stood out in this market because you focused on doing things naturally, being fit. I mean, I'm just looking up your uh, 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 Twitter profile, and you you say say no to malls, say yes to fields, like do. everything that's you know not the conventional norm so uh, when you 
we thought that we had moved forward where fitness, where losing weight, being healthy had become more about being fit than being thin. Yet we have an event like this come along and Kim Kardashian's admission come along and it feels like we have regressed back to a gilded age. I mean, professionally, you know, if you ask me, maybe for, I mean, in my kind of business, the, the more obsessed people are with their sizes, the profitable it is for me. But, you know, it's always about people putting people before uh, profits. And I do think that we, it's high time that we accepted that good health comes in all shapes, in all sizes, to all genders, at all ages. And there is no such thing as a perfect body, perfect man or a perfect boss. You make the best of what you have and you can have perfectly healthy body and a healthy relationship uh, in a marriage or in your workspace. You know, you have to know what to pick on, what to let go. So I think that is what it is. There is no such thing as perfection. Perfection is for losers. Reality is for winners. Amen to that. Thank you all for joining us on We The People tonight.